The spirit of infirmity occurs in Luke chapter 13 and verse 11. And the Bible says, And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. But Jesus saw her. He called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. The woman had been crippled 18 years and was healed by Jesus on the Sabbath day. The word infirmity means imperfections or weaknesses of the body. It can be moral or spiritual weaknesses or defects or deformity or disablement. The spirit of infirmity is a disabling spirit or a sickness caused by a spirit or crippled by a spirit and that is a demonic spirit. The spirit of infirmity is a demon who caused the woman to be crippled for 18 years. Imagine that. Jesus didn't command healing. He said, woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. He didn't say be healed. He said, you are loosed. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 tells us that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers rulers of the darkness of this age, spiritual wickedness in the heavenly realms. And the spiritual forces of evil were at work in heavenly realms in this woman's life. Luke 13, 11 shows that it is evident that evil spirits can sometimes cause physical deformities. In this case, a demon was granted access to or power to inflict a disability on this woman for 18 years. Though Satan and his demons can attack our bodies, emotions, and influence our thinking patterns, we cannot blame every illness on Satan's influence. We are also responsible for what we put in our bodies, how we take care of this temple, and what we willingly expose ourselves to physically, naturally, socially, and all the other forms that exist. James chapter 4 verse 7 to 8 says, Resist the devil, submit to God through prayer. James 5 16 says, Confess to one another and pray for healing. Jesus was willing to set this woman free as a daughter of Abraham even on the Sabbath day. He was filled with compassion and responded to her need. Jesus wants to loose you from the spirit of infirmity that is hindering you from fulfilling your purpose and your destiny. Woman of God, man of God, servant of the Lord, saints, I declare today, be loosed, be loosed from your infirmity. And like the woman, straightway, immediately, straighten up and glorify God. He wants to set you free in Jesus' name.